Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Gardening with One D and Zone 5B. My name is Janelle. I'm here to help take the intimidation out of gardening. About three years ago, I started dabbling in hydroponics so that I could grow green leafy vegetables all winter long without having to really pay the big grocery store prices. I'm going to show you what I mean. I ordered one of these kits online. Now, this is kind of like an unrealistic picture in my opinion, but this is the actual gadget that's in the box. And this is what it looks like out of the box. This here, you'll be always able to see your water level, so you always wanna keep your water level high. There's a pump inside that moves the water around every few minutes. You've got your holes up here. Um, this little thing here holds a sponge, and in that sponge, you put your seed. And I always soak my sponges first, and then I put my seed in there. And then as the plant grows, the light here can be raised like this. So as plants get taller, you can adjust the light. On the top, it tells you if you're growing vegetables, push this button. If you're growing flowers, push this button. There's the power button. So it's pretty much a no brainer. I really enjoy it. And then when I add water, I usually just lift out a plant or maybe I'll keep one of these holes empty so that I can just add water easily. I have ordered new baskets and sponges online. Now the plants don't grow on just water alone. They need some nutrients. Now this one here is kind of more of an all-purpose nutrient. And this one here focuses on nitrogen, magnesium, and calcium. I will be switching over to this the next time when those run out for my hydroponics. This is another liquid nutrient. This little container here just holds all my lettuces that I like to plant in my uh, hydroponic kit and a lot of like spinach and baby greens, different things just for variety. And I succession plant, meaning I'll plant something one week, I'll wait five or seven days, I'll plant the next thing and so on. And that way you always are gonna have some continuation of getting your lettuces and your baby greens. You can also grow plants in a shallow tray with soil um, and then just cut them off when they get to be about, I don't know, three, four inches tall and then that you can use for your meals. Um, in my experience, pea shoots taste exactly like peas. Broccoli shoots taste exactly like broccoli. I had somebody gift me some broccoli seeds, so this is going to be enough to get me through the winter, I'm sure. I also picked up this big bag of pea seeds at my um, bird feed store. Uh, they sell all their bulk stuff at the end of the year dirt cheap. I think I paid $3 and some odd cents for this whole bag of peas. This is going to last me a long time. The reason I'm telling you this is right now, a lot of the box stores still have some of their seeds in stock and they're selling them at a discounted price. So this is a good opportunity to buy things and give it a try this winter, either by growing microgreens or investing in a hydroponic kit. I hope you found this video informative. Please like, follow, share, subscribe, tell all your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.